OK, now that we've been able to draw some simple geometric shapes, let's see if we can start to play around with those shapes and alter them a little bit. Most of the default shapes in 2D design are geometric shapes, obviously. If you want to draw something which is a little bit more advanced, you could draw several shapes together and start to take lines away. The alternative is that you could start to take a shape and alter the shape itself. Now there's a very easy way to do that, and I'll show you now. You click on Rectangle, as we did before, just draw a rectangle there, set it in the middle of your screen. You click back on Pointer, and then back on your shape. You'll notice that it's got these handles around the outside. Now obviously, as with any other desktop publishing program, you can click on either of these handles and reduce it or enlarge it, but you still have the basic shape. If you want to move it, click on the middle, you can move it around the page. If you want to rotate it, there's a little button there on the right hand side which should allow you to rotate it, but essentially you are still in possession of a geometric shape. Now, once you have that shape and you're happy with it, you will notice that there is another dialog box on the right hand side that says Property and Start Edit. If you click on Start Edit, immediately your shape turns into a four-sided shape as it was before, but it has less handles. Now these dynamic handles can be taken and the shape can be altered. We're still, however, dealing with a shape which essentially has straight lines. If you wanted to change it into something else other than a straight line shape, again, you would have to use some more of the uh, functions in the Start Edit toolbar. For example, I want that line to be a curve. So I'll click on that line, go back to the curve, and notice that I've got an extra two pairs of handles there. If I actually pull those out, I could start to make that straight line into a curve, I could make it in that shape, and I could start to make my shape into a more abstract shape. Let's now click on this line. If I wanted to add another part, or a node, click on that. I can keep it as a straight line there, and I could fold that wherever I wanted it. Or, I could actually change both of those lines to a curve, and further change the shape there. Again, if I click off that shape, we've got the Start Edit box reduced for a little while. And again, you can see how that geometric shape was altered very simply. And then I've started to change some of these lines into curves. We've still got a couple of lines there at the straight. So let's go back to Start Edit. And again, I want to change this bottom line so that it is an arc. So I'll click on Arc. Again, I'm not quite sure about that, so I want it flipped around. So if I move down to flip and flip that there, I can do that. Now I want to reduce the diameter, so I'm just going to click again on that dynamic yellow handle, and I'm just going to reduce that there. Click off that just to check how it's looking. And this will work with any other shape. Circles, hexagons, triangles. Finally, let's just think about changing this shape. I want to add a couple of no nodes there. Click on those. Click all of those to arcs. And I could change that there like so. End edit. And what was a simple rectangular shape, which looked like that, now looks completely abstract.